So, my dear lovely ladies, unstoppable women, let us start the session by asking you people that how are you this evening? And for this, what we are going to do is that we are just going to ask you to choose a number here. Okay. And once you choose the number, then I'm going to click that number and then you will be find, finding that how do you feel this evening? Okay. Is it, is it okay? Yes. So, yes. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Yes, yes. ma'am. Yes. Who wants to go first? Anybody. Uh, me, me. me is Anita or Yasmin. me is Aisha or me who? Yasmin, Yasmin. Yasmin wants to go first. Yes, Yasmin. Can you please select a number? Nine. You said nine? Nine, nine yes. Oh, oh, Yasmin, are you feeling confident this evening? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, but Yasmin, your face is not showing that expression. We have to be very expressive. <laughs> you are confident? That should yeah, be I am confident, but I'm, my house is full of kids and there's so much noise. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the reason of your being low confident or showing low confidence. But I know that not Yasmin is very confident. Not confident. low confident, trying to manage the whole thing. <laughs> okay, so Yasmin is confident this evening. And what about Supriya? How is Supriya this evening? It's one. Like, uh, a uh, one. I would like to select one. One. Number one. Okay. Yes, number one. So here we go for Supriya. Strong. I sit in a pan. I sit in a pan. <laughs> oh, wow, Supriya. <laughs> it's very <laughs> lovely. Do you agree or you disagree? Uh, yeah, I always feel strong. <laughs> oh, that's so good. See, I have a magical one that is telling me all truth about you people. <laughs> Yes, Anita, ma'am, which number is your favorite number? 30th. 30, ma'am. 30. Oh, my God, something special here. Wow, Anita, ma'am. Oh, wow. wow. That you... is true, ma'am. That's true. Yeah. That's true. How, how are really, you blessed? I am really blessed. I am really blessed. No, but how? What all you have that you can claim that you are blessed? Uh, first is my health, ma'am. Good. That is uh, the God's blessings and my family and friends' blessings. Next is my family. Next is my job that I'm blessed. Every moment I'm blessed that I'm, yes, I'm in this world. And then there are people around me, you know, so that's the greatest blessing from God. Very true. Very true. You know, especially when you said that you have a job, you know, uh, being engaged or having some engagements, commitments, responsibilities, this is really a blessing of God. Yes, Otherwise, yes. although you have money to survive, but if you don't have the engagements, the life becomes so boring and life becomes sometimes burden. You know, yes, people, they think that what to do in this life, then sometimes they think that better if they are not here in this world because their life is not having any worth. So we should Absolutely. always, always give importance to our jobs, to our responsibilities, to our engagements, and we should feel blessed as Anita Ma'am is feeling blessed this evening. Thank you, Anita Thank you. Ma for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. Now next we have, uh, next we have Aisha Irfana. Which number is your number, Aisha? Ma'am, six. Six. So yes, here we go for Aisha. Yes, Aisha is glad. Is it true, Aisha? Yes, ma'am. Why? Why are you glad? What's so special? Being a, a woman working and uh, like ma'am, getting every opportunity in my life, ma'am. Uh, oh, that's really very nice to know. Uh, first yeah, of all, being a woman. Glad to have a husband. <laughs> Very uh, understanding husband, and, and then uh, I'm glad to be working in one of the institution where I am feeling very comfortable and confident to work. So I'm glad for everything. Thank God, Allah have given me so much happiness in my life. Yeah, that's really so nice to hear. And you know, your first sentence that being a woman is the matter to be uh, to be glad. That's really very good. You know, I have enjoyed being women like each and every moment. I have never realized or I have never regretted that why I am a woman. You know, women have that power. 
and yes, uh, that power is within us we yes, have to sir. try to understand and realize it okay thank you very much that you are glad yes. irfana this evening mm -hmm. aisha irfana now our next is uh, Thanks, thank you who is the next one let me invite next one is xyz xyz will you please select a number xyz will you please select a number we are not getting any response from xyz uh, who is xyz may i know assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam yes xyz uh, what's your name my name is kulsum kulsum so kulsum your name is so beautiful i cannot resist to rename you so i have renamed you here as kulsum okay okay so kulsum will you please select a number for yourself i will choose 10 yes so kulsum is going to select 10 and yes kulsum is contented yes kulsum yes sir and this is the really a very beautiful attribute of a person yes. if you are contented there is no problem in your life there is no hassle bustle in your life there is no greed in the life there is no jealousy in the life there is no uh, envy in the life there is no bad feelings in the life because i am contented with whatever i have whatever i have as possessions whatever i have as qualification whatever i have as job whatever i have as a spouse i am not thinking that why my spouse is not sharukh khan so the being contented is really a great blessing of god almighty yes sir yeah congratulation kulsum that you are contented now we have one more yes, uh, mr uh, or miss durgesh Yeah, ma'am, Nandini Durgesh. Oh, sorry, Nandini Durgesh. So you have already participated, Nandini? Yeah, eighteen. Okay, so your number is eighteen. Nandini is confident. Yes, Nandini. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Nandini, thank you very much. And now let me see that how am I feeling this evening when we are I am among so many dynamic ladies. Ah, uh, I would go. I would go for. Forty. Yes. So among you people, I am feeling secured. So there is there is no element of fear because when you don't think that when you are attending any seminar, the speaker or the resource person is not feeling insecure. Sometimes they are feeling very insecure. You know whether they will be accepted, not accepted, rejected. Not their points will be uh, not. Uh, affecting the people, whatever is the purpose, there that will not be uh, fulfilling the needs of the people. So, like they also feel insecure sometimes. But among you people, I am feeling very secure. And if you are also feeling secure, please give me points out of ten and write in the chat box that who is feeling secure in my presence here among you people. Briefly, I must tell you that I am a Dr. Halima Sadia, and I am by profession an educationist, having thirty years of experience in this field. And for last three years, I am engaged into training and coaching programs. My focus in the training is on personal leadership and self management, because I believe that every human being has the capacity to be a leader in their own lives, in their own ways, in their own capacities. And eighty percent people are not able to unleash their leadership skills because they think that they are not having those qualities of leadership. That's why from this platform, Edufam International Academy. we try to unleash their skills we try to enhance their potentials and we try to make them realize that how powerful they are and what is the magic of the personal leadership when you realize that you are capable naturally nothing can stop you from doing the magic or creating the magic in your own lives so this is my brief introduction currently i am in uae before that i was in maldives before that i was in singapore and before that i was in india and before that i was again in uae for 7 years so this is my brief history and i am very happy to see all of you joining this evening when we are going to talk about the job opportunities in uae most of you are experienced and most of you are may not be in the need of joining in uae because you are you are on the pinnacle of your career 
you some of you are vice principal some of you are principal some of you are executives some of you are already having those heights whatever you have aimed in your life but you joining this course is going to give me an insight that you will be having lots of followers you will be having lots of people around you those the people who are looking up to you to become like you the people who are still struggling to choose a career and to establish themselves so this program is not for you this program is for your fans for your followers for your lovers for the people who are always trying to be like you so i think the effectiveness this program is going to multiplied by the number of people who follow you maybe you can see that here uh, we have like anita ma'am so anita ma'am is not a single person anita ma'am is an institution and in the institution she is associated with maybe minimum 10000 people if we include the parents if we include the uh, all other all other stakeholders of the school and then her other uh, organizations wherever she is associated with ngos so so here she is not alone she is representing 10000 people here so likewise if we talk about shabana or we talk about nandini if we talk about supriya everybody is on the position where they are influencing thousands of people so you knowing anything from this session is going to help thousands of people not only you so we have to keep that in mind so i urge you that whatever questions you think that possibly you will be asked by your people you please ask me and if i know the answer certainly i am not going to hide any answer or any information of course if i don't know i would certainly tell you that give me your whatsapp number i'll get back to you and i'll try to certify your queries so let us begin today it is going to be like just a first round of information so it it is not going to i'm not going to be in the depth but you will get some basic information about that what are the opportunities here and wherever the people the people should try to come over here and how they should try to um, avail the opportunities in uae so thank you very much give me a second so that i can share my screen Yes, so here we go. Is my screen visible to you all? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. So first of all, uh, Aisha, when you somebody says that okay, there is an opportunity in UAE, so what comes to your mind first? Like, what is something attractive that comes to your mind that yes, I want to avail that opportunities? Uh, ma'am there is a scope of learning a lot in that place because it is a multi uh, lingual as well as a multi national state uh, country sorry so that's why that is a great opportunity if we get a job there beautiful answer and that is the first thing that comes in the mind when we talk about uae that here yes. we will get lots of learning opportunities and you will not only learn from one curriculum or from one country or from one nation so you will find here approximately all the nationalities who ever exist in this world like around 200 nationalities and then as far as education is concerned you will find here more than 50 curriculum here so you can learn from different curriculums from different people from different cultures from different nations because this country is a multicultural country so that's really a very beautiful answer and now let me ask shabana said what is the second thing that comes like first thing is that this is multicultural country and you will get the opportunity to learn what else comes to the mind when we when we know about uae that there is any opportunity the second thing is when because we have in number of opportunity to learn at the same time we can earn also because everybody want to be financially independent so it is easy for us to earn with good amount compared to our country we can earn more there so if we are eligible for any kind of we can earn more there second thing i can usually we migrate from one one can earn because of financial independence and that comes to mind when i think about you i can earn more yes that's very true because you know the currency rate is high so if we earn here 100 uh dirham then naturally we if you convert into uh indian rupees it multiplies by 21 or 22 rupees 
So that is the basic reason why when you earn here, like if you are earning 5,000 also, that becomes quite high amount in Indian currency. So that is uh, one of the basic charm. I must say this, we should keep it on the first position and then the learning opportunity on the second position. Am I right? If you agree with me, then please, please write A in the chat box if you all agree with this. That first A is yeah, the salary package and the second is the learning opportunities. Nandani, what comes to your mind when you uh, come to know about any opportunity in UAE? Miss Nandani? Is Nandini there? Uh, no, I think Nandini yeah, yeah. Yes, left yes, yes. the meeting. I think Nandini is not there. So, Anita, ma'am, you can tell us what comes to your mind. Uh, first of all, yes, as uh, uh, you know, this one said, Aisha, uh, what, what, how are the preschools over there? You know? Uh, and the different curriculums. I'm very anxious to know about the different curriculums. Okay, how are the how how does a preschool work over there? The second very important question is: Will I get an opportunity because of the age criteria? That works in my mind, and I think so. The answer is no, uh, as far as I know. I don't know, but these two things. Yes, first of all, the curriculum, and uh, would like to visit the preschools. How do they work and learn from them? You know. And then we can implement in our uh, schools. A lot of things happen, good things happen, you know, good practices take place. So these two things um, is, is in, on my mind. Okay, thank you very much, Anita, ma'am. First thing is that uh, you said about age criteria. Yes, that may be because of the, for the job, but for freelancing work, there is no age criteria. So if you really want oh. to come and like uh, uh, interact with the preschoolers and again if you have something good to offer to them like in the for in the term of like maybe some courses some workshops or something that is really appealing mm -hmm. to them so you can work as freelancer for that there is no age oh, that's wonderful that's so, this is wonderful. The answer of uh, one question and your second question is that you are very keen to know different curriculum yes of course yes. you know there are like uh, australian curriculum then british curriculum then american curriculum then singapore curriculum then indian curriculum then pakistani curriculum like uh, different countries have canadian curriculum different countries have their own curriculums and even in in one country there are different types of curriculums also if we talk about indian so there are different uh, curriculums in, even in our country so in this way, you will find lots of curriculums. And uh, even if you are not willing as freelancer, then also you can come on the exchange programs. That's also possible. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah come visit my, my, your, the school. Yeah. yeah. And then- uh, Ma'am, uh, about uh, this, uh, sorry to interrupt, about this uh, taking workshops. So is there any uh, criteria then how, how do I go about? Like, yeah, you know, as a freelancer, you know, trainer. You know, the, the, there are training companies like maybe this EduFam International right now. Oh, we are registered wonderful. in India, but we, we, we are registering in UAE as well. So, but there are many, many training companies, those are registered in UAE as well. So, okay, through those okay. companies, uh, they can invite you as resource person, and then through them, you can uh, avail this opportunity. Okay, thank you so much, ma'am. I would like to be from EduFam only. <laughs> okay thank you thank you very much so if we talk about like generally about the opportunities so we can say that these are these four major areas where like lots of opportunities are there oil and gas then tourism and hospitality and then finance and banking and then renewable energy so these are the major four areas where you will find lots of uh, openings coming up and lots of foreigners are being employed here then our, nowadays, you know, the construction and real estate has taken uh, a boom here. And uh, because now it's open for the foreigners also to buy land and to buy, uh, to occupy the uh, villas and flats here. So that's the reason why in this area, construction and real estate, it is also booming. And then we can find the opportunities here very easily uh, in the real estate, in the construction and in the uh, civil engineering. Then uh, another area where we can find that is finance and investment. And uh, in that banking is there, accountancy is there, and investment management is there. So here in this field also, you will find lots of attractive uh, opportunities and attractive uh, packages for the people. 
if you talk about the technology, so UAE is advancing its tech sector as well. So uh, software development area, digital marketing area, and cybersecurity area. These three areas are the major areas where UAE is really working hard to uh, excel and make the society a smart society. Then healthcare sector is also playing very important role. And here you will find lots of job opportunities. So there is requirement of doctors and nurses. There is requirement of pharmacists. There is requirement of support staff as well. And in this field also, we will find lots of foreigners working here. Then the another area is the education. Education sector offers opportunities for teachers, educators to make an impact on future generation. So there will be requirement of the classroom teachers, those who are going to teach in the classroom, different subjects at in the schools, in the universities, in the coaching centers. Then uh, there will be requirements for the administrators and educational management people. So uh, naturally when more uh, educational sectors are there, more institutions are there, more schools and colleges are there, then we need more administrators also and we need more managerial level people and professionals as well. And then there is requirement of specialist teachers. So this education sector demands a specialized subject areas teachers like uh, music teachers, art teachers, sport teachers, then a special need children like a special educators and many more. And you will always find that these teachers like music, art, sports and P and all these, they will always be in high demand. They're like there will be always shortage of these teachers because basically the people, those who are opting these subjects, their number is less than the other subject teachers. Now in retail industry also, we find like lots of opportunities exist for the professionals and especially in the fashion and clothing, grocery and supermarket, because in each building it's mandatory to have a grocery. And then there are supermarkets uh, on like, uh, in each locality, you will find supermarkets. So lots of opportunities are there in these sectors and in the electronic retail as well. Since this is a smart society, so everybody has the gadgets, mobiles, the electronics uh, uh, equipments, so then naturally there is a opportunity in that area. Then another area where the we can find the opportunity is aviation industry. So aviation industry is also booming here. And in that pilots and co-pilots jobs, then cabin crew jobs, and then aviation engineers jobs are also uh, available here and you can find uh, the place here. Now, how to find jobs in UAE? That is also a big question. So here, uh, um, Shabana, can you read whatever is written on the screen if you can manage? Yes, ma'am. Online job portals such as Bait, Indeed, and LinkedIn, which specifically cater UAE provinces. Visit the career sections of websites of companies you are interested in the scheme and search their available job listing. Connect with potential employers, network, and explore opportunities by attending job fairs and networking events. Registering with reputable recruitment agencies that specialize in job placement in the UAE. Check with your country's embassy or consulate in the UAE for job-related assistance and resources. Join online professional groups and forums related to your industry to expand your contacts and stay updated about job openings. Going old school and checking local newspapers for some companies still advertise job vacancy in local newspapers. Thank you very yes, much. Thank you very much. So, you know, these are some of the ideas or some of the ways how we can find the job in UAE is given. And to me personally, if I say that your networking works uh, in a magical way, you know, I have personally experienced that if you have lots of people around you, uh, from different countries, from different places. So you will not find any problem in that particular place or in that particular country. Same works here also in UAE also, if you have good networking. And the best way of having networking is that you have to join the groups, professional groups. You know, every country has their uh, groups of engineers, like groups of doctors, groups of teachers, groups of uh, educators, and not only one group, there will be many groups and groups on the LinkedIn, groups on the WhatsApp. And so you, we should try to be the part of those groups. 
then you will get like first first hand information through the those groups and then uh, if you are already participating in the voluntarily work, you know, sometimes the people I have seen that uh, some of the my friends are like uh, very keen to join somewhere, like maybe sometimes they were uh, very much keen to go to Singapore or uh, even uh, UAE. So they want that today, they, if they have joined a group tomorrow, they will be asking, OK, when I'm going to get a job. So it's not so easy that if today you have joined some group tomorrow, the group is going to give you a job. It's, it's not in their hand. We have to be patiently being in that group. And in that group, we have to contribute. Like suppose if there is any program, like this type of professional program, like right now I am doing this. So these type of many platforms are there where they do the programs for the social cause. This is a social cause program. There is no fees involved in this. So we have to contribute in those social cause programs that makes a good impression on the people uh, who are into, the, into that network that you are a person who is not only concerned about the job and the salary, but you are concerned about the well-being of the people and serving the people. That's why you are sparing your valuable time. Like I can say, Anita ma'am has joined my all four sessions of exploring Dubai. And I know that she is already into a very good job. She is the head of the school. Naturally, she is not here with the intention of getting any job in UAE. But she is very keen so that she can contribute in this session and maybe she is able to grab a few points and contribute a few points. So that this is the good sign that shows your intention. It's not the intention of just coming here and getting any job information and applying and going away. So I always urge you that please be the part of social programs, social networks and enhance and expand your networking. That is very, very important. Now, how to prepare yourself to get a job? Supriya, will you please read if you are there? Yeah, sure. Yeah, please. Yeah. How to prepare yourself to get a job? Uh, here are some tips. Uh, the first one is... ...job market and sectors in demand in the UAE to better position uh, to better position yourself in finding your ideal job. Then the next one is update your resume. Craft a professional resume highlighting your skills, qualifications, and relevant experience for the job you are seeking. Okay. And the next uh, one just, is just pause for a necessary. minute. Just pause for a minute. Yeah. So here, let me just tell you my experience with the um, uh, with your resumes. You know, there we, when we are interviewing the teachers for different posts, at times what happens, the teachers have taken the professional help in making their resume. And they even don't know that what is written in that, you know. And when we ask the questions based on that, they are totally blank that what is written in that. So this should not happen. It is a big blunder. There only you will be rejected. So even if you are taking the help of professionals, please go through the resume again and again and try to remove those points wherever you have not worked, okay? Because that will, that will be very easily caught by the employers. And then second thing is nowadays, you know, this uh, chat GPT will prepare your CV very beautifully and nicely. But we have when we are feeding the information in that, we should always feed the correct information about us. And uh, if we are giving any false information, then naturally that will create the false CV about us. So CV will look will speak quite high about us while we are not uh, showing that performance when we are being interviewed. So that we have to keep in mind. Then uh, one more thing is there that when you are writing any uh, like any seminars, workshops, or any additional uh, additional uh, learning experiences when you are mentioning, please ensure that you write only about those things for which you have the certificate, okay? If you don't have the certificates, then you please don't write over there because you know the next moment if you are selected, the question will be that as per your resume, they will ask for all the certificates and then they will tick, 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 tick on the resume itself, okay? If you have attended uh, 15 workshops, so 15, uh, uh, certificates are there. If the certificates are not there, it means that you have not attended. So please don't mention that. At times we do this, you know, at times we just increase our number of workshops, number of seminars, number of conferences, and many, many things, how many attended, how many conducted. So we have to be careful in that. 
Uh, yes, uh, Supriya, you can move ahead. Yeah. The next one is obtain necessary certification. Uh, if required for your profession, ensure you have the necessary certificates recognized in, in the UAE. For this, I have told you last time itself that if you are coming for the educational institutions, because mostly I can see here the people are related to education. So you ensure that your degrees are through proper uh, regular courses. If you have done anything privately, that will not be uh, uh, recognized here and you will not get equivalency for that. And then you will not get uh, the job opportunity. So from 10th and then 10th, 12th graduation, post-graduation and your B.Ed. All these degrees have to be uh, from the regular mode. And then secondly, all the degrees have to be attested. And there are attestation processes that when you will come into the details of that, we will uh, guide you and explain to you how to do that. So that has to be done. Yes, next. Yeah. Uh, the next one is learn Arabic. While not always necessary, learning Arabic can be advantageous, especially when interacting with local and clients. Yes, very true. Uh, without Arabic, you will get the job. There is no doubt that you can get the job. But if you know the Arabic, then there is nothing like that. You will get everything done so quickly because in all the official departments, you will find Arabic speaking people. You can very easily interact with them. You can very easily tell them that whatever you want to convey to them and your things will be done very nicely because here everything is streamlined. And in all the processes, we have to go through uh, the um, official government officials. Uh, we have to visit them and then we have to get them done. So if you know the Arabic, then you will get lots of advantage in all the areas, not only in educational areas, but in all other jobs as well. And nowadays, you know, there are software available where we can learn any foreign language within six months. So it is not a big deal. In Kerala, especially, you know, when the people are studying even from uh, uh, 10th standard and then 12th standard, they opt for Arabic especially because their aim is to come to Gulf and get a job. So for that purpose, they opt for as a third language or fourth language, whatever we can say, because there are there is Malayali language, then there is Hindi, there is English. Then maybe this is the fourth language that they are learning, but they learn this language, keeping in mind that they have to serve in Gulf area. So that's really very helpful if you are going to do this. So these are some of the basic information that we, I have given to you all. If you have any particular queries or you think that people may ask you about this, you are free here to ask the questions. Uh, Ma'am, for conducting workshops, as you mentioned, freelancing, is Arabic uh, important and uh, mandatory or uh, no? <clears throat> uh, yes, Anita, ma'am, actually Arabic is for the uh, Arab people and we don't conduct workshops for the Arab people mostly because here we focus on our Indian curriculum schools. So there are more than 80, 75 to 80 schools, Indian curriculum schools. Okay. So if we are conducting the workshops for them, for the Arabs, then naturally uh, there, are in, there are workshops in English also and Arabic also. But if we okay. are not doing for them, then... Uh, we we are we focus on English. English will English will do. Yes. Dr. Halima, I would like to know how do we become a part of your organization? Okay. So uh, uh, this point was raised last time also, and I told them that uh, Edufam is constructing in the website, and where we have taken a platform. Uh, there we are going to have like uh, the option is for 1000 courses, like we can upload 1000 courses there, the information of 1000 courses. Once that will be ready, then uh, EduFam will announce for the uh, trainer partners, like you all are trainer partners. So we will give you the bullet points or the format where you have to give the information of your course. And once your course information is with us, we will upload on the website. And once it is uploaded on the website, now it is questionable whether or disconnect. Yes. Sorry, I don't know what happened. We got disconnected. So now it is question uh, questionable whether we are going to have yeah, yeah. for uploading your course on our website because you know it depends that how much the website to the one who is constructed is going to give us the quotations and all for each course. Then 
once your course will be uploaded then naturally whoever will is interested in doing your course edufam is going to facilitate that edufam is going to uh, collect all the inquiries and then uh, collect their fees and everything and then those batch will be given to you you will conduct the workshop you will be given the fees whatever is being collected and there will be like contribution basis uh, how much edufam is going to keep it will be very nominal some administrative charges and rest will be given to the parents so this is the model we are going to very soon launch maybe it will take another one month and that's why we have postponed our uh, award ceremony also in december because we are planning that by december even our this website with all the courses of our mentors will be ready like you all will be ready with your course details and it will be uploaded on the website and we will launch that on the website with the course ma'am one question regarding what about the prospect of legal sector because nowadays most of students going for llb course in india so do mm -hmm. they have any opportunity in the by legal mncs like we can here we can see legal advisors everywhere we can see mncs or it can hospital anywhere else so most of students taking llb as a course because good demand in india what about you guys there uh, i think this is a very good question and uh... Uh, there will be there must be some uh, like opportunities in this but i have not explored so far so give me some time shabana i'll just get back to you i'll just try to find out and then this we'll one start, yeah we're just trying a little bit now it is because they see there's many much good scope in this one a little bit so yeah, please find sure. out ma'am yeah yeah sure I, i'll get back to you shabana thank you welcome hina where were you we were missing you in the meeting no ma'am i was there i had not uh, switched on my camera Okay. I have attended three of your Dubai sessions, ma'am. I was yes, there. She was there. So, Hina, yeah. can you can you tell us about uh, what is the name of your school? I am working in Allen House Public School. Uh, it's a very big, you know, around twenty branches we have of DPSs and Allen Houses. Mm -hmm. uh, it is uh, under the aegis of Super House Education Foundation. So, yeah, that's a very big uh, educational. Uh, you know circle here in uttar pradesh we are having a, a branches in kanpur itself we have five or six branches you are from so kanpur or you are from lucknow uh, i am actually from calcutta but i am placed here in kanpur <laughs> because yesterday i was among the people who are from lucknow so one of the teacher who was working here as librarian has started her own nursery here so she invited mm. me for the inauguration and a session of that and mm -hmm. then when i was there i was interacting with uh, many people from lucknow were there so i thought that you are from lucknow i mentioned about you to them that there is a very talented teacher and i was i was in lucknow yesterday for a uh, event uh, but i am placed in kanpur ma'am but as group schools are there in lucknow also dps indranagar ldco and uh, i am working with the expert biological pedagogical you know all these experiential learning activities yes. in san okay I'm doing that, but ma'am, uh, my seniority has reached. Like now, I should be heading an organization, but uh, in Kanpur and in Lucknow, um, the opportunities are not very alluring. You know, I'm I am getting offers, but I'm not very, you know, as per my uh, caliber, I'm not getting very uh, excited to take early letter account. But uh, how do I apply for a vice principal or a principal post uh, in Dubai or in Middle East, ma'am? What changes should I do in my CV? I mean, what kind of uh, professional? I need some, you know, help for that. Because I, in case if I want to move, I will move for a head post, not to teach. Okay, so Hina, I think that my personal as my advice for you would be that if you can apply for first for HOD, like senior uh, science mm -hmm. teacher as HOD. that is going to be more convenient rather than directly applying for the vice principal and principal because most mm -hmm. people from that i'm already doing here i'm uh, i'm heading the school science for since the last couple of years and uh, on and off as an acting uh, principal i have taken up you know when my mam is out so i she gives me the charge yeah so because okay uh, yeah people when they when they when they appoint any vice principal or principal they always mm -hmm. look uh, at the experience of ua so because you yes. know a person who has come from outside they he, mm -hmm. he or she may not be having the experience of uae norms regulations and other things so it is going to be difficult for them to because you are the head of the school so you are considered to be knowing everything whatever is associated with the school so that's why it is always good if you are taking up the opportunity as hod first and then 
immediately once you are here and you have your uh, feet grounded, yes, then you can uh, enhance and you can further apply for the senior posts. So that is my mm -hmm. advice because there you will get more opportunities rather than the directly vice principal and principal's opportunity. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. This is so, that is exactly what we do here. Yeah. Like if a person has been in HOD for more than five years, he is entitled, he or she is entitled for a vice principal or a principal's post according to the CBSC norms here. Yeah. So yes. the same thing goes there. Then yes, stay yes. as the senior most teacher and then take the. Thank yes. you so much. It was so, it was so much needed because now uh, I really feel that I should, uh, kids have all grown up and now I should start thinking of settling yeah, very true. And then uh, do lots of leadership courses and programs, whatever is possible. So yeah. that is going to enhance your skills. And this time, because of your leadership training, I took three uh, events in two days. And I won in all the three. <laughs> My team won in all the three. Yes, the yes, the same yes. A big round of applause to Neha, to Hena. And really, Neha, I'm very happy. Hena, ma'am, uh, I am telling you that this is uh, one change in me. Initially, it never happened. Like if I'm taking one event, I would never even think of taking up the second or the third. Second, I didn't take the second, ma'am. But okay, it's happening. The other teachers have work given me. But by the grace of God, and I, I mean, I'm, there is a lot of change, ma'am. Now, and, and you know, ma'am, if I'm going with the team and the teachers are there with me, now I've started discussing the issues of results. Pehle bhi, I never voiced myself. This is the biggest change in Hina, ma'am. I really, I don't know whether it is a leadership, uh, this thing, but it's all because of you. Thank I you, have ma learned. Thank you. I wish you all the best. And I would like to see you as a principal of any schools, not <laughs> necessarily in UAE, yeah, but yeah. anywhere. But inshallah, you will get that. Just we have inshallah. to patiently working upon our own skills and our own yeah. capabilities. Yeah. Yeah. So Hina, yes, I was talking about this school yesterday. I was there. And uh, these people are from Lucknow. Tasneem and Sana and... Uh, she is elder. Three of three of them are sisters, and uh, this Sana was uh, working as librarian in one of the school here in Dubai. So she resigned in the month of January, and January till now she was establishing the play school, and now she has inaugurated yesterday, and the children have taken admission, and it is we pray for her to for to have a successful nursery here. So it was really a great occasion yesterday thank you ladies and gentlemen ma'am one second ma'am looking at that playway nursery you know so i was just what is it playway nursery uh, because it's all a playway method and you know hands on experience and all looking at that only my it uh, uh, you know uh, i i uh, started thinking what is this playway nursery the playway they so, have taken up uh, as name the playway is the yes. name Playway nursery yeah. is the name, and there here the uh, the rule is that you can take the child from forty days child till six years in the nurseries. Yeah. So for, so okay. they have like a small small cots and uh, a small small that cradles for the children because one area yeah. for the for the, those children who are just a few days old, a few months old, and then there is an area designated for the toddlers, then for the preschoolers, then for the FS1 and 2, like that, different curriculums and different syllabus are there, different areas are there. So it is like well uh, designed. This is already KHDA designed curriculum they are following. Yeah, yeah and it, it was, was very fascinating, you know, Playway Nursery, you know, it was very fascinating for me. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, then, ladies, thank you very much for joining this evening. If there is any other question, I am ready to answer. And uh, Shabana, I'll get back to you with your answer. And by the grace of Almighty, we are starting our September batch and uh, I still uh, have few slots. If you can uh, recommend someone, Hina, from your place because you are uh, uh, you are projecting that you have been benefited by this in a great deal. So certainly you would like to other people also to be benefited by this course. So please uh, recommend. Um, I wanted, but uh, there are so many events uh, they have already given to me and I was thinking how will I do my task? Because in half yearlies are there, no, in September. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a lot of a lot of academic work I have. Otherwise, I would have loved to join. I'll see how I'll plan out. Yes. Agar kuch ko paana, to inshallah, I will join myself and I've asked my friends too. I've recommended. Okay, <laughs> for you, for you, I would say that you take some break and then join again. 
because uh, in October, we are going to have employability skills uh, program. And then again, in December, we are going to have the same uh, type of uh, exclusively a leadership program, okay? So I would, I would recommend for you for December because then there should be some gap yes. so that you will get new challenges in December. Okay, yes, maybe yes, this will yes. repeat a few challenges that we have done before. So, okay, thank I you. I will so recommend that. Yes, Hena, please. I will definitely recommend, ma'am, because uh, this is a very nice experience when we are becoming more disciplined and, you know, the awakening is there. What is our own trait as a leader? This program has helped us to know ourselves, you know. That yeah. is a one-liner I would want to say, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Ms. Supriya, do you have a question? Okay, Aisha Tazin, our topper is also here. She was the <laughs> topper of 11th batch. Aisha, are you there? Yes, ma'am, I'm very much here. Okay. Salam alaikum was listening to you. Yes. But uh, I have joined late. I have joined late because I had to call, uh, a, you know, India to a few of my relatives because I had to inquire about their NEET program. And uh, all of them got the seat this year. Few of them could not get the seat, government seat, NEET through NEET in MBBS. Two of my family members got, two of them could not get. So I was busy talking to them. Then immediately it flashed my mind that, Are, my goodness, I had to attend this program. <laughs> and uh, by the time I joined, it was about to finish. Somehow I could meet you, I could see you, and I feel blessed. Uh, Aisha, thank you very much for joining. And uh, with your uh, blessings and dua, we are starting our 14th batch on 1st September. So if uh, your two of your friends who wanted to do last time, they couldn't do because of the vacation and all, if they are still interested, you just please remind them. Sure, ma'am, I shall remind. And two of them and few more, I will remind them. Those who are interested, I will find it out and definitely remind them. Okay, and Aisha, your topper's trophy is there. Um, and we are planning to have the award ceremony in December here in Dubai. Dubai is not very far from Saudi. Please, whenever you receive the information, minimum one month before we will announce so that you can book the ticket and come to Dubai to receive your topper's trophy, okay? Sure, sure, ma'am, inshallah. Inshallah. Okay, then, thank you, everyone. Take care and have a nice time. And we see you all on the 1st September when we are going to inaugurate our 14th batch of leadership. Thank you. Take care. Thank you very much. Yes, bye-bye. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.